guys, thanks for stopping by. Uh, so today we're gonna go for a little enduro ride. I'm by myself, uh, so I don't wanna do anything too difficult. Um, just gonna go through a few things with the bike. Um, but we're gonna go ride in a beautiful place today where I normally ride, but this, there's a nice loop that I wanna go on. Uh, it's nothing too technical, like I said, just gonna go around and, you know, have a feel for the bike. It's a nice day, let's get ripping. But before I start the video, I just wanna give a big shout out to Hyper Ride. Fair play, he sent me some stuff in the post, a nice care package from Canada. Um, he sent me these gloves, which I'm gonna try out today. Beautiful, I mean, thanks buddy. You didn't have to send me a pair of Fox gloves. I mean, but I'll take them. So yeah, I'm gonna, so yeah, if, uh, I'll put a little link up here now. Uh, go check out his channel. Uh, he lives in a beautiful part of the world. He's got some good giveaways coming up as well. So make sure you just go head over, check him out. Say that Midwest MX sent you. Right, let's get going on this ride. Uh, coming up to this cliff face, this bit's a bit technical. Let's stay to the right hand side, give it some. Oh, nearly went then. These gloves are so comfortable by the way. Really nice. So yeah guys, I've had the Honda for six months now. Well, running up on six months. So I wanted to kind of give you my thoughts on it. Yeah, so I bought this back in February. It's now August. I uh, had the bike for a while. There's been ups and downs, I'd say 90% of it up. Uh, considering all the bikes that I've gone through, all the different makes, uh, different size engines. And to have this bike now and to be this happy with it, that's a very good sign, because I, I get bored quite easy, you know? We made out to this beautiful place here. Um, it's not far from the trails I usually go on, but there's a trail that goes straight past here now, into those woods over there, and then we'll do a nice little loop. And it usually comes back to here, but I'll turn off and head back home by then. But look where we are. this trail here it's quite a nice trail a little bit of a loop we can talk a bit more about this bike so as many of you know if you've been subscribed for a while since I've had this bike I've loved this bike I did a little uh, video before on the reason why the Honda CRF 250R is the best four-stroke dirt bike and the reason was because it's an all-round bike for what I do which is a bit of everything a bit of track a bit of enduro I found this bike to be the best after all the other makes that I've ridden, tried out, owned. Uh, I've had quite a few. The only problem I've ever had with this bike since having it was it wasn't really, it went through a stage where it wasn't starting. Uh, it's taken me ages to kick it over and I couldn't figure out what it was. So after a few questions here and there and a few blog posts, I found out it was the valves. Uh, apparently on the Hondas, the, they need the valve clearances done not often but more often than most bikes I just chuck some valve cleaner in, which is a mixture that you put in the fuel tank and I haven't had a problem since I will get them done but as it stands it's starting first kick so everything's pretty good on it uh, the fork seals went on it so that's that's my down point for this bike it's a 2015 Honda CRF 250R uh, it comes with the, the air suspension so what happens when all the oil leaks out of there's like oil in the outer chamber or the inner chamber and then is the rest of it um, yeah when all the oil leaked out of it I went I was on a motocross track and the suspension just like flat straight straight on the floor so I got the seals done had the bike back and I tell you that it was so hard work to get the suspension back to where I had it before 
you have to have the ear perfectly right in the bottom and the top uh, it's really really annoying it took me quite a few hours to get it sorted I had to get Rob to come and help me sort it out so that was actually the only down point about this bike if you're thinking about getting a CRF 250R I would say 100% go for it for me who you know I'm a novice rider uh, it's nice and smooth it's just lovely through the gears the bike itself like when you put the suspension on soft it's perfect for days out like this little trail rides it depends what you do if you're like me and you know you mess around in fields and trails and then some days you go to the track I, I would say this is the bike for you but I put the Yoshimura RS9 exhaust on it and it made hell of a difference the, it's way more pokey um, so it, it's added a little bit of power onto it and you can definitely feel the difference I am going to be keeping this bike for a while I have been debating about the 2019 CRF250R which is a beautiful bike and it comes with an electric start it's very lightweight um, I think in this country they're about seven and a half thousand pounds I don't know how much they are in your countries but I don't know what I'm gonna do yet I'm not gonna get one straight away but I was thinking about treating myself after Christmas maybe we'll see I mean I love this bike a lot so I don't need to get rid of it but I just thought if this one's this good then I can't even imagine how good the 2019 is any bike I get from the future which I'm telling you will probably be Honda's I can't see myself switching I'll be getting this exhaust every single time it's a lot of money you know you don't have to get one the standard exhaust sounds quite nice to be fair when I had it but this is just way more grunty and it revs through the trees conclusion is if you want a Honda I recommend first I mean I, I absolutely love this bike you know all of you that's been subscribed you know how much I love this bike it's just an amazing machine and many of you might will you know will disagree people that are more into the motocross kind of scene might not think it's powerful enough or hasn't got that you know raw edge that the carries and the Yamaha's have but you know it's my opinion uh, if anyone any questions about the Honda if you're thinking about getting one leave it in the comment section below I uh, try my hardest to reply to every single comment on the page love the support it's nice that you guys enjoy the videos and that's it so Honda gets a thumbs up from me anyway as always thanks for watching ride safe and I'll catch you on the next one peace